Everyone wants their newfound to perform well. It should not contain extraneous stuff, but that is not the case. On the contrary, you'll get to see a lot of bloatware which degrades the performance of your phone and also violates your privacy. Well, we always notice the bad side of the bloatware, which is obvious, but one should always note that not all bloatware is bad. Some of the pre-installed media source and control centers are really useful. Now, not every other device come with bloatware pre-installed. Just look at stock Androids, clean UI. So most of the devices have bloatware because of advertisements. The thing is, AppMaker sponsors the manufacturer to ship their phones with pre-installed apps. That's it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how can you remove bloatware from your device. You just don't need the root access. We'll do this with the help of some ADB commands. I've given those commands in the video description. Just copy and paste as I tell. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Fave Tech. Note that if something goes wrong, if the procedure fails, then there are chances of your phone becoming unusable. Also, another system application may depend on a system application you remove. But yes, if something goes wrong, you can always perform a factory reset or you can install the system app again. We'll tell you how. So, let's begin with the procedure. First of all, download and install App Inspector application from the link given in our video description and open it. This app will help us to show package name of all the applications you have on your device. This package name is needed for the procedure. So, download and install this application. The other app you have to install is called APK Extractor. Open the app and it will show you all the apps you have on your device. Now, what you gotta do is tap on the application you want to uninstall. Now, you can go to the file manager, then go to the folder named Extracted APKs. Here, you can anytime reinstall the app you uninstalled. Now, let's move on to the next step. Once you are done with this, then the next thing you have to do is to go to the settings, system, then go to about phone, scroll down, tap on build number until you become a developer. Now go back and then you can see developer options there. Click it and enable USB debugging here. I have already did so. So I don't have to do that again. Now connect your phone to the PC. Set the connection as file transfer MTP mode. Then you can see a prompt asking allow USB debugging. Click on OK. Now on the PC, open command prompt. The first command will be ADB devices. Now click enter. Now again on your device, a prompt will appear, you have to grant it. Now if you type ADB devices again and click enter, it will show you a serial number. If it does, then you can type the next command. Now type the next command, that is ADB shell, and then click enter. Then type the following command, note that the package name should be accurate. You have to go to the app inspector app and then go to the application you want to uninstall. There you can see the package name of the application. Click enter after the command. You can see various packages name you have on your device. After this, type the last command with the accurate package name of the application you want to uninstall and click enter again. Again, I have given all the commands in the video description. You can copy those commands and paste them. But don't forget to make changes in the package name. I have already told where you will get to see that. So, we have successfully uninstalled this system application without having root access. Now, let's check it by going to the settings, then home. You can see there's no system launcher present as we just uninstalled it. Want to reinstall it? Just go to the file manager, extract it apk's folder, click on it and install. That's it. So, this is how you can do so. Hope I have you. If I did, then please like the video, subscribe if you are new here, press bell icon. Thanks for watching, meet you very soon in the next one, adios.